in mass are you good young people yes you probably say you are good can you confirm with me that in mass you never go out you stay from the very beginning till the yeah. end Andre, are they there? Do you know? Okay. If not, I'll if not find you will find it. Okay. <laughs> so you don't go out because because of Andre <laughs> No. No. It, it, it is it is the very other very easy to see whether you are really love the mass or not. If you love the mass so much, you will not want to be how uh, do I be missing throughout the celebration? I have this habit of young people, you know, when they go to mass, somewhere in between, somewhere in between, especially during the reading and the homily, they will go out. <coughs> I will know. But some of them are very nice now. They're sitting somewhere in the middle, they will walk out. <laughs> They go out. And when they come back, when are they going to come back? After everything finished, the homily finished, the reading finished, they come back. Now, you can guess whether they maybe they hate the homily and maybe they don't want to listen to any homily at all. Now, we have to ask ourselves about that. So, during the, when you come to Mass, we're supposed to be prepared for that, isn't it? I always, uh, always tell the people, if you really love Jesus, when you want to leave Him alone, you have nice, uh, how to call that, meal together. Date with your loved ones, a date. And he said, excuse me, I go out first. You stay here alone, huh? a date. You leave your date alone. You don't want to leave him or her, isn't it? You want to be with that person as long as you want, right? Impossible. Closer. 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 No. Do you have experience on it? I sure. Yeah. Okay, no man. <laughs> so, the, the more in love we are with this particular person, we want to be with him. Or, we want to be with Jesus as long as, 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 long as possible. So, this is what uh, uh, we want to do. So, Mary, Mary, from the very beginning, she was so devoted to God. She learned at a very young age. Okay, at a very young age, she joined, she already learned about the Torah or maybe about any regulation of the, of the Jews. From the very beginning, learn. Now, do you remember your Ten Commandments? Number one. Number seven. Number three. Keep holy the seventh day. The Sabbath day. Sabbath day. Sabbath day. Okay. Number ten. Peace. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so you, you see, Mother Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mary, I've studied there from the very early age. So this is what happened. Why many young people have lost their faith 
you know, because they are not sure about their faith. Many of them. Many cases that, that our young people, they easily, you know, leave the church or maybe they even say, I just received one official letter from uh, parishioners. Stated that from now on, Father, I will no longer want to be uh, called a Catholic anymore because I believe in this particular church. I don't want to be Roman Catholic anymore. Be surprised. And this one can happen to each and every one of us if we do not know our faith. That is why it's so important at very young age you have to learn your faith. Mary did. That is why when the Holy Spirit came to her, she was stunned. How can this? Can they? Are you sure? I haven't seen any men yet now. Then the Holy Spirit explained, uh, the angel explained to her. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now, this is my version of that story. Now. Okay. I do it. Really did. Isn't it? And because of what? Because of the foundation she received. And that helps her to say yes to the very big task given to her. And that task is to bring Jesus into the world. He's just an ordinary girl, just like you and I. <laughs> yeah, ordinary girl like you and I, I mean, young yeah, people. <laughs> It's the same with Joseph at the time, right? So it's 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 depend on God whether He wants to use us for what task. That's up to God to decide whether it's big or small. It's up to God. But the thing is this: Are you ready to say yes to that task? The thing is this: Whether you really know who you are. Whether Jesus really alive in you or not. And if He is, you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry who is your friends. Whether you have Malay friends, whether you have pagan friends, they're so important. As long as you know who you are. And you are strong with it because you know your faith and you live it out. No worries. No worries. At all. This is what happened to Mary. This is what happened to Mary. So, my dear young friends, there are few other other names, for example, like Jeremiah, Josiah, and Timothy. Oh, Timothy. Now, these figures in the Bible tells us that you are important. And therefore, I should assure you is this, you are important to God. And if you say that you are not important to the church now, meaning to say you don't see how valuable you are to God. And God want to approve this, that each one of you are very important to the church. So therefore, to end this, to end this, now, are you ready to be like all these big fellows just now? Like Mary, like David, like Joseph, John, all these people, they started young, started young in their ministry, so-called, to answer yes to God. So in order for the kingdom of God to be implemented in this world, so that people see, for example, like Mary, if Mary did not say yes, Jesus will not come into this world to be born. 
and therefore there will be no salvation. But Mary said, yes, therefore salvation is available to all of us. Now, our yes can decide other the new generation to be saved or not. Your yes can change the world. Your yes to God can change the faith of your parents. It has effect. It affects other people. It's not just affecting our lives, but also affecting other people's lives. And especially as you, as you, for God, being you, it's not like something that we do that make me, make me a uh, you for God. It's who I am that make me you for God. It's not that you, you are so talented that make you a you for God. No, please don't. You are good in singing, you are good in dancing. That will not make you you for God. But what make you you for God is being a person who is faithful, devoted, loving, and ready to say yes to His will. That makes you you for God. Amen. Amen. Sleeping. Oliver. <laughs> I think that's, that's all I can. If you have any question, you can um, throw the question and maybe Andre can helps me to answer your question.